Okay, so what we're doing with these cabinets up here above the couch, um, we're gonna put these little cool fancy lights. Let me take this out so I'll show you. So this light is gonna go in here like that, and it's gonna have this really cool casing over it. It looks like this. All right, so I'm going under the bus and drilling my holes, new holes for the captain's chair. And uh, let's do this. All right. So there are the old holes. We're gonna drill new ones right beside it. The seat is in. It's comfortable. It's secure. It's comfortable. Secure. We officially have a shower. All hooked up. Ready to go. Can't wait to test it. Good job. Okay, so we've done a lot since the last video. I've just been working hard and we're getting close. But we have our cabinets starting to come in. We're gonna be able to put our shoes in here. We're gonna build some cubby holes or something. But here is gonna be where we hang our keys and such. Um, look, it's so beautiful up here. Um, so we got our light fixtures in already. I believe we already showed those, but here's another one over here with the light bulb already in it. So. All ready to go over here. Our stove is raised, so getting ready for that. We got my mom in here working on some doors. Look at us, working hard. And we've already put up some more walls. And then another cool light fixture. It's coming. All right, so now we are wiring our brown receptacles, which is our solar and battery receptacles. So we're gonna take this, go on from the outside underneath, I'm gonna pop this through the hole we just created down here. There's the hole, so I'm gonna do that and then Tony's gonna to catch it and then we're gonna put it through the holes that we've already drilled through the two by threes. And we're gonna go up into our load center and then we officially can test our lights to make sure that they all work. Here goes nothing, which is the motto of this build. I'm cutting more of this off. Yeah, just give myself a run, but this is way more than I need. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push that cable up. You know what? It's weird, but... You know what? Let me see what's going on here. Maybe this thing is toast. Nope, that should be fitting on like a glove. I'm actually not really sure. to make sure that I wired all the lights correctly because if I didn't that's gonna suck poopies so I'm gonna have to like go in there and like change everything my mom's laughing because I said suck poopies <laughs> <laughs> like this adapter in this is literally just to test that the lights work because these are actually gonna be hooked up to batteries and our solar and all that kind of stuff our lights will always be running off of our batteries Alright, let's do this. Watch it just like. Stop that. Alright, here we go. Now, we turn on a light switch. Whoa, please. Please. No. Fail. Ready? Here it goes. Yes! Yay! Look how pretty they are! You did it! Let's keep going. Let's keep going. There's, there's more. Alright, 
right. Next. Ah, uh, yeah. Bathroom. Look at our bus. It's getting worked on. There goes Emmy. So with only about two or three weeks left of being in Missouri, we gotta head out. There's so much to do on the bus. It's, it's uh, not overwhelming, just, just a lot, you know? So your first reaction or your first inclination, is that a word? Uh, is to get it done as quickly as you possibly can. But the whole point of this whole bus life is to really experience and enjoy things more if that makes any sense. So for me, I think it's just as important to wake up and go for a unicycle ride, even if you have a lot of work to do. Um, reading this book is just talking about the importance of exercise and eating healthy, and um, even if you don't have time to do it, you make time to do it because it's more important than anything else. So that's what I'm doing. On my way away from this old flat It's official. We now have uh, RV, or I should say school bus insurance, and it's registered, titled. We're officially legal, baby. Oh. Basically, you build a frame, you know, so that there's good support for it, and then you measure your wood out. So it is time now to test the pipes, um, to test our plumbing, to make sure that it all works. Because um, our plan is we're gonna be closing off the tub area with the bench all the way around it so that water only drips into the tub and nowhere else. So to do that though, before I start closing off areas, I wanna make sure that those pipes there are not leaking and that we have a great system here. So um, I think it's time to just go for it and make sure there's no leaks in any of our pipes. Here we go. And we're gonna fill up the tank first before we start actually pumping the water to the, uh, the sinks and stuff like that. So I'm kind of nervous because if this doesn't work, that means we have a full day of fixing pipes instead of doing other things we wanna do. So let's see what happens. Here it goes. Hush. It's filling the tank. Wow. Any leaks? Nothing. No leaks. Okay, so we had a leak um, and the tank was expanding like crazy and we didn't, I was like, what is happening? And then I realized I forgot to take off our vent cap. So as soon as I did that, the leaking stopped. Yes. <laughs> we are now plugging in the pump and we're gonna test our tanks. So I think we figured out this situation. It was just because the vent wasn't venting, but we do have to seal this up. So we'll figure that out. But here we go, plugging in our pump. Okay, I'm gonna make sure all the sinks are off. This is kicking, which means there's a leak somewhere. Yep. Okay, there are... 
Okay, so we also have leaks under our sink as well. So we got quite a bit of fixing to do. So it's leaking from in here and it's leaking off of the, the hot water heater. Put some plumber's tape around the seal here and see if this helps stop the leak. So I feel like Clayton always comes at just the right time. Did that just come out? Yep. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so we're gonna put some plumber's tape on all of these fixings. So what we've decided to do is put some plumber's tape on every single one. So that just for a little extra precaution. Plugging in our water pump. You guys ready? ready. We got everybody all on their bases. All right, so we're dumping the tank out outside. I'm watching. All right, so I just have my drain valve from the tank. I don't know what it's, if it's called like an emergency valve, water or something, whatever. But in a way that we can drain our tanks without having to take the tank out again, because that was awful. And this is what everybody has, but I just realized that I didn't. So there. Now we can test our wa our new water pump and see if it's working after we get this looking a little bit better. All right, so we changed the pump out again. And uh, now we're gonna fill our tank up once more. This time I have a shut off valve drain so I can drain this tank. So here we go. All right, so we're filling up on water again. This time I remember to take off my my vent cap. All right, so our water is now filling up. I'm gonna check for leaks in all areas. No leaks. We seem to be good so far in that area. Now let's go back here. No leaks over back there, which is where this is where the water's coming in. So that's great news. No leaks there. All right, here's the drain valve. Let's see if it works. All right, so that works. So I can't figure out why this isn't working. So the only thing I can think of doing is disconnecting the lines going to the hot water heater. So the hot water heater is not hooked up fully yet to propane. So because it's not hooked up to propane, I'm wondering if that's, I don't know why that would be an issue, why that would have anything to do with it, but it's the only thing I can think of doing is bypassing the water heater and seeing if that's the problem. Okay, so in order for me to test the pumps, I wanted to see if it was because it was hooked up to a water tank that isn't officially 100% hooked up yet. So I bypassed the tank all together so I'm just running my cold lines and when I turned on the pump water was still pumping through here through my hot water tank but my hot water tank is not hooked up to anything so I have never been this confused in my entire life all right so uh, when I turn on the water it all pours out from there and no matter how much I tighten it it doesn't it doesn't tighten, so I think our shower is faulty. All right, so it's a beautiful morning here. So we decided to take a little break on this whole plumbing situation because this adapter, apparently, or transformer is what they call it, is not strong enough to do what we're, uh, to run this pump. So we're ordering on Amazon one that will, and we'll let you know how that goes. But today, we are going to build the bunk beds. All right, we're starting to build the frame for the bunk beds. Getting ready, look at mama. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, guys. We have bunk beds. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit some more support beams under here, but we have bunk beds and storage areas. Okay. So definitely want a closet. Wouldn't it? On my way. This so 